yeah what's up guys well, once again welcome to this online tutorial by softlinks media i am your content creator isaac siaka and today i'm going to be teaching you on how to use um, some amazing tools amazing content creation tools to get some content for your websites for your digital platforms for your social media platforms I want you to know that um, if you have the right tools to create content, a website will reach out to the people that you so desire. You'll be able to get customer conversion. So content creation, as you all know, is one of the essential things for you to have as um, a social media manager, as a digital marketer, if you have the right to you will get everything you want to do right so today i'm going to be giving you some amazing tools that you can use in creating and crafting your content so join me with me but before we go, go ahead i want us to understand some basic terminologies understanding digital marketing and social media marketing i have realized over time that people confuse these two terms so they hardly differentiate or know how to differentiate between these two terms. So they miss it up. I want you to know that these two terms are different. And if you understand them, the marketing strategy will definitely be an easy one. So first, what is digital marketing? Major difference between digital marketing and social media marketing. I can tell you that digital marketing covers digital media, like your YouTube, your blogging, your email marketing, and even the offline work like SMS and radio. Too. Even the social media marketing is part of the digital marketing platform. I work together. So when you hear anything digital, it covers anything that is online. Anything you use digital tools to achieve is called digital marketing. Be your maybe your YouTube channel, your blogging, your website, your email, even when you use SMS using your phone or your radio or your TV. As far as it is on a digital platform or medium, it is called digital marketing. On the other hand, social media marketing. This one covers your social media channels like your Facebook, your Instagram, your TikTok, your Twitter. Even social media marketing, like I said before, is part of a digital marketing. It's just that um, majorly people use social media as a major digital marketing platform to reach their audience. I we together now. So there is a big difference between digital marketing and social media marketing. When you come, digital, digital marketing is like a combo. It's like your hamper that houses all the digital media tools you can leverage on to reach your audience. While social media is just leveraging on all your social media channels. So don't confuse the two terms. They are very, very different. Content is king. Like I said, when I began this, uh, when, I, when we started this course, I told you that when you get your content right, you will get results that you so desire. The gate, 1986 said, content is king. What did he say now? He realized that the way businesses are going, for you to be able to retain and gain customers, you need a content that will be able to deliver the quality of the, of the business you are offering to the public, for the populace. You don't just create content because you want to create content. You create content that targets specifically to some audience or people that actually need the content. Are we together? So you don't just start business without knowing the kind of content to or the people you are targeting and the kind of content you have to dish out to them. That's why they say content is king. Once you get your content to write, the business will be on auto drive. I guarantee you that. So, what is this content we're talking about? Content is information on digital format. Any information on digital format can be your blog, 
can be your website content, it can be a TV content, it can be a radio content, it can be SMS. As far as it's on a digital format, it is called a content. The television content, your news and your program, your YouTube content, these are all powerful contents on digital format. You know, um, my small blessed memory said, the purpose of a thing is not known. Abuse is inevitable. You need to know the reason why you are creating content so that when you are dishing it out, you will know why you are creating content. So, why create content? For your business or for your website visibility, we call it SEO, search engine optimization. The reason why you need to create content as a website designer or as a content creator for any business is for your business to be seen by the outside world, for people to know you, to create awareness of what you do. The reason why you need to create rich content for your website is for people to be able to search for your business via your website and be able to see what you do. So the re number one reason why people create content is for visibility for business visibility, for website visibility. And this can be achieved when people go to your web or maybe your search engine and they search for your business or they search for your website. And how quick are you able to pop up on search engine? That is number one reason why you must create great content that will be able to put you out there to your desired audience face. Put together. Another reason why many of us create content is for, to make money. And this money is not just normal money. I talk, I'm talking about customer acquisition to be able to get customers for our business. So to be able to have people that patronize us. So when you create content, you'll be able to tell the people out there what you are doing, what what they need to know that you are creating. Why are you creating content? Why are you in the business? So ability to have your own customers. So you, you have to let them know outside them why you are doing into a business, why you are doing a particular business, so that you can acquire them, we call them customer acquisition. Another reason why many of us create content is for sales, ability to sell to the people you have acquired, the customers that you have acquired, ability to be able to sell your product to them. So that's why we create content. Another one, another reason why we create content is for us to be able to retain the customers that we have, we have, we have acquired after we have sold to them. Because you need them to you call it retard jetting ability to be able to patronize you for other businesses that you are doing. That is called customer retention. Another reason why we create content is for feedback. Ability to, for people to be able to tell you how good your product is or how good your business was able to solve their immediate needs or their, the reason why they are patronizing you. So be open to feedback. So you have to create content out there for people to be able to reach out to you and give you honest feedback. Content creation. Ability to craft content. Now I told you we are not in for theories. We are in for the written, the boom, the, what are the various tools I can leverage on to be able to create amazing content for my customers, for my audience. So number one of such amazing tools that for content creation is blog about by impact plus. What does this one do to you? When you go to your Google now, let's go. What would this one do? Blog about by impact plus, that is number one amazing tool for content creation either for your website for your blogs so it will help you to get catchy titles that convert as far as you just mention the kind of um maybe content you want to create we're going to be practicalizing what i'm saying so just minimize your stuff go to your, your google and type blog about this is what do blog about by impact boss Go to your Google, blog about my impact plus. Impact plus. Blog about my, this is it. The, the first one that, that appear when you click on it, this one will help you to craft amazing titles. For instance, I want to write about real estate. 
people understand that it is what is a product or service. You can tell the title. How, see now, I want to talk about real estate. So when I type the keyword that I want called real estate, it's telling me that I can write content like how to get the best price for real estate. Science, real estate is not for you. Understanding the differences between real estate and other things. A best review real estate can give you several things. You can also refresh it to still give you other one. Factors that affect the cost of real estate. The biggest problem with real estate tends to look for when comparing a real estate. Real estate's customer review you need to see. Are we together now? So what this does, what this particular tool does, for bloggers or for website designers for content creation for your web or for your blog is that it will give you an idea of a title of what to write about all together that is if you're into real estate for instance let's say i'm into what uh, maybe just call anything maybe i'm into um let's say i mean i'm into clothing and i just type clothing and i said okay generate title how much does clothing cost and is what and is it worth it? Reasons why clothing isn't the right choice for you. Clothing versus the pros, the cons and the recommendation. Standard features of clothing you should know. Our top 10 picks for best clothing. When you refresh again to give you other options that you can choose from. Why does clothing cost so much in the year 2022? The five problems with clothing you are likely to miss five key differences of clothing. So you will now have idea of the kind of content to write. That is what blog about by impact does to you. Are we together? So that's number one, amazing tool for content creation that I wanted to talk about. Number two is keyword2.io. This one also does the same thing like impact does. It also give you amazing keyword to write about, amazing key titles, keyword titles that you can actually leverage on. And you'll be able to know what to write about once you get a particular what's it called a particular title to write about and now go to the feed and begin to research on a particular thing these particular tools are good for bloggers that want to write on topic and they don't learn what the kind of topic to write about so once you have these tools at your back and call boom you have all the title and you can now go ahead and start creating content for them so the first one of this this one, Impact, uh, Blog About by Impact Plus and Keyword2.io, they all do, they are doing the same thing. So, I've shown you how the how first one works. You can try the second one yourself. So, the third thing I want to tell you about is Quibot.com. This one, what does it help you to achieve? Well, Quibot.com help you as a, a content creator. For instance, you have gotten the title you want to write about. Let's go. You have gotten the what's let's say this is what we want to write. What does clothing cost so much in the year 2022? If you just copy this, you understand. Go back. So you now go to quibot.com. This one will help you to like okay, we're looking for content. And I'll go online. Okay, maybe you now say because whatever you want to write, someone else has already written it. Why does clothing cost so much in in Nigeria? So, someone else has already written that kind of content. Why are clothes so expensive in Nigeria? By all definition, maybe you just click on this. You understand? And it will give you content. You understand? Maybe this is the content by all definitions. Then I struggle to Google. Maybe this is the content you want to write about. But to avoid plagiarism, you cannot just copy and paste this content. So, what is second or uh, this other? This keyboard does to you or for you is to be able to change it, it will tweak it so that to avoid plagiarism. So you now go back to your maybe your Google, like Quill, Quibot, Quibot.com, Professor Tools. When you click on it, I went together now. So you now say, okay, try sample test. This is the kind of content you want. Then click on it, control everything, paste what you have written. You understand? I want people to be able to change this particular, uh, what is it called? 
um, content and change it to another way of writing it without just taking a verbatim from it to you. So when you click on paraphrase, the first one says, by all definition, Nigeria fashion is costly. It is not struggle to find skip garment manufacturers. So it rephrases to by any standard. Nigeria fashion is expensive, not using costly. Are you saying here is costly? Here is using expensive. Designers struggle to find skip garment. This one says, designer frequently create a bug. See, it is difficult. So it will change. In case you still don't like the way it has rephrased it, you can still click on it and it will rephrase it to the other stuff the way you want it to still be changing it until you get the kind of um a new way of writing it the way you want it so that you will not be penalized when you use it for your blog post for plagiarism so that they will not see you are copycat other people's content are we together so that's what people does for you it will trick any content, any article that you carry from another person's um, platform and it will change it to paraphrase it for you and it will rephrase it for you in another way around. Just having the same content inside it but with different language and with different words and, and phrases. I put together now. That's what Quibot does. So after Quibot, the next thing I want to tell you is what and exactly what it does. What Quibot does is what Wordtune also does. When you have Wordtune as well, it will change any content you give to it and it will rephrase it and give it back in another way. Just test you against what requires it. Answer the problem. You know, sometimes you don't know what people are out there looking for. For instance, you are into real estate. You don't really know what the people in the real estate that are looking for in the real estate world. So for you to know, you need to know what the public are looking for when it comes to real estate. How do you do that? That is what answerthepublic.com does to you. So when you just carry, let me carry this. You can see, you go to Google and just type it, answer the public. So let's say I'm into the, I'm looking for something like this. It's called what people are asking about in the real estate world. So I want to type. When I click, when I type it, and I click on search. I wait to get down. Hmm. Results are here. As I type real estate, we will hear um, we hear estate agent become extinct. Will real estate ever be normal again? Will real estate prices fall in India? Will real estate price go down in 2023? Will real estate crash UK? Will real estate crash in 2023? How? Where is how question? How do real estate companies make money? How real estate developers think? How are you saying? So they are showing you the how way of real estate, the real estate are, are real estate, all this question, which this is for which, this is for when, when real estate prices are expected to decrease, when real estate will crash, when real estate, when real estate crash, when real estate market will crash, when real estate bubble bust when real estate market will recover things like that so it will just show you give you an idea of what people are looking for when it comes to this particular topic are we together that's what answer the public does to you are we together amazing too you can use to create your work in graphic content so this will get in the next episode thank you now i've given you tools for your blog writing, for your, uh, all the content writers. I've given you also the next episode I'll be teaching you on how to get amazing tools for your graphic content. Thank you.